Dancer Cristiano. How am I supposed to take you guys seriously when you're dancers? Togepi. This is a little scary. Metronome Togepi. It's got Levitate. Oh, it's just use Future Sight. I can't get out because of Whirlpool. And a Hypnosis. What is this Togepi? Oh my god! So we just beat Brock. And now we're going to get a couple encounters as well as... Hopefully beat these trainers because there's quite a lot of them. I'm going to try not to speed up as much so uh, it's a little bit more enjoyable. As I say that, I did speed up. <laughs> and I got to make sure that I save a little bit of money uh, to buy... What was it? The Jigglypuff? No. It was a Clefairy, I believe. You had to buy some Pokemon in the next... Uh, the next Pokemon Center. So I'm going to try to save at least a little bit of money here. Okay, um... Again, I don't want to over-level my Pokemon. So I... I don't want to use Rocky too much. But I don't want to go... I don't want to go in blind and hopefully... You know what? Let's do it. What do we got here? What's our... What's the levels here? Weightlifter Wayne! All right, Pidgey, level 10. That ain't too bad. Uh, lick. You know what? I'm an idiot. I forgot that it's... <laughs> All right, we're going to go out to Skylark here. And... Ooh, we could rock throw it. Yeah, you and your one damage didn't do anything. Nice. And as you can see, the background's a little bit more cleaner. Um... I am debating whether or not to do a green screen. That way you don't have to look at the the white empty space behind me. The empty void. Um I don't have any ground, so I don't This is a good job. This is a good time for cookie. Cookie cookie. That did nothing to me. Eat a bubble. Gonna add the sound effects since uh, you can't hear. Wow, 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 wow. That's what the yawn. Also, I got a couple things I gotta say too. People over here making fun of me because I I say roly poly when it's spelled Rolly Polly. Well, excuse me. I said I may not know how to spell it. I said it was probably incorrect. Timothy Rattata. You know what? I'm sticking to it. That's Roly Poly with two L's on each one. You're gonna like it. Also, I did, uh, I kind of misplayed a little bit with the uh, Skylark in the gym battle. Um, my, so my thinking was, is that I, I didn't want. Meganium to take too much damage nor did I know how uh, how much damage the Bagan was going to do to Meganium and I, I wanted to make sure that I did enough uh, damage with Skylark that when Meganium comes in that she doesn't have to he doesn't have to take too many hits so Rocky came in and just took it like a champ and I, I again I wasn't sure how uh, much damage that Rocky was going to take from Bagan, nor did I know the whole moveset of Bagan. So I was a little bit afraid, and I did risk uh, Skylark. Um, Panda told me that I went from hating Skylark and not thinking he was going to do anything to all of a sudden putting too much faith into Skylark. And um, these battle. Flame Body! Whatever. So these kind of battles actually can do that to you because you can't heal. So I gotta get get this weedle out of my face. Curse. So since I can't heal in battle, it makes me a little bit more nervous um, with what with what people with what my Pokemon can do. Um, and how much damage they can take. And seeing how 
uh, Secrets is already... He took too much damage, as it was, and Skylark was already taking a lot of damage. I can't bring in Krabby, so I felt like the only thing I could do was rely on Skylark for another tackle and hope that he lived. In which he did. So thankfully, Skylark is a champ. And I did post a poll on the, uh, the channel. Um, I asked, who do you think is going to live longest for this run? Is it? Do you believe it's going to be Skylark or do you think it's going to be Cookie? Because Lord only knows that one of these two is probably going to die because of me. Because of me and uh, the rules with not being able to heal in battle. Like I said, a lot of Pokemon are going to die, unfortunately. And I, I love all my Pokemon so far. I've been looking forward to coming back here and playing. Um, been a little sick with a uh, sore throat. Y'all know how that is. <laughs> Our little Jimmy. Actually, Ranger Donna. You don't look like a Donna to me. Taylo. Um, never going to click curse because that's going to... I keep forgetting that I can't touch normal types with ghosts. So hopefully I can fix that habit. Cindy Quill. This looks like a job for a cookie. The Krabby. And I think for this episode, we're just going to, we're going to try to get through. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> you about killed cookie. What's the matter with you? Go back out in secrets. I want to get through all of Mountain Moon um, and try to get all three encounters that are coming up along with the uh, the Pokemon that I can buy in the Poke uh, Center. Um, so that should be four new Pokemon that potentially get added to either the, the team or the box, which is good. Uh, we need all the encounters we can get. But I wanted to uh, let you guys know that's what uh, is on today's agenda is hopefully just get through Mountain Moon alive. I don't. There's so many trainers in Mountain Moon. I would like to get through Mountain Moon and get all the uh, encounters, but for now, uh, I just I just want to make it up there alive. There's so many trainers, and I don't want to over level either. So I think I'm gonna try to get. Stupid lady, I forgot. I'm going to try to avoid uh, the next few trainers so I can get the new Pokemon a little bit more levels. I think Cookie should be able to handle the swine up. Taking it like a champ, Cookie. Okay. <laughs> I got it mixed up with the, the one freeze dry. I was like, oh no, he knows freeze dry. It was just powder snow. Cookie, uh, eating up like a champ. Beldum. Mmm. I think at this point he only knows takedown, I believe. That should hurt him as well. Takedown. And just for the small chance that he knows, like, confusion, I don't want to go to, uh, secrets. To bind. It's not very effective, I know. All right, we took him down. Good job, Cookie. Oh, Vice Grip, I think that's okay. All right, so if we go back, we'll reset where she was, and we'll be able to save that next uh, Bug Catcher. Or drill Sergeant. 
Darren or whatever they want to call him. So we'll save him for the next Pokemon. Boop. Yeah, I knew it. Trainer Jacqueline. Caterpie. Oh, that was that was simple. All right, time for this encounter. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get like back to back to back encounters here. I'm I'm a little nervous. Do I have anything to? I guess Cookie's really the best thing we got. Well, no, you know what? Let me go back and heal Secrets. I'll use his Lick to try to paralyze the Pokemon if he can stay in. All right. Secrets, what do you got for me? Flygon Jin! Hello! I feel like I always get either Flygon or Binky. The Altaria. It's always the two that I get. Let me do a couple licks here. I can only do one lick, so let's try to do a Hypnosis. Ooh, I think I'm trapped in here too. Okay, can I switch out? Thought so. Okay, um. We should be able to just take it out with this Pokeball here. Capture him, Fly God Jin. Ah, oh, come on. Now, I can heal with wild Pokemon, but in Pokemon battles against trainers, I cannot. <sighs> Come on, man. I am going to go ahead and heal. Dang, I, that's doing a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, I was freed. Um, as much as I would like to stay in for hypnosis, I really don't want some crazy crit from Fain Attack to take me down. So I will just try to throw some Pokeballs here. And of course, you've heard me uh, say the name. I'm going to name him Flygon or Flame. Name her. I'm going to name her Flygon Jin. If you don't know, that's a play on words from. Star Wars character, episode one, Qui-Gon Jinn. Now he, that was a he. I feel like Flygon Jinn is a, it could be either way. Plus I think it's funny. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Three. He just keeps taking sand out of his little box and throwing it at me. This is ridiculous. You're gonna make me use all of my Pokeballs. Just on you. I mean, granted, you are good, but at the same time, like, come on, man. Come on. Seriously? This is ridiculous. All the fly gone, man. I want to save the timer ball in case it's like a legendary. This fly gone's not. He's not making it easy on me. She keeps saying he. You gotta be kidding me! You ain't gonna get the freaking name fly gone Jin at this point. I don't know what else I could do. Like, I don't want to. I can't stay in with Gengar, 100%. It just showed that it had bite. <laughs> That's the fifth time it's done three jiggles.
think it can live a attack with. I know it can live a bind. I'm gonna do bind. If it even hits. Of course it will. <sighs> He's literally gonna make me use all my potions. You got two Pokeballs, bro. <laughs> Alright, humor me. Timer ball. How many Pokeballs was that? That was all of my potions, so that's four potions. This is the most expensive Flygon. I'm naming I'm naming this Flygon Princess. Because that was one expensive Flygon. So expensive. It I don't even know if it was worth it. I gotta see the abilities, but I I'm a little irritated at that. How much was it worth it? Ups defensive suffering? I mean... Not that good. Plus you're, you're four times weak to ice. Which is not that good. Like, anybody that has a random ice move, dead. Instantly. What do you have to say, you chump? Alright, um, what do you got for me, bud? Oh, it's a magic carp. That's what he gives you. Well, hello there, laddie. Have I got, have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a magic carp, for just 500. And we know it's not a magic carp, because it's random. Yes, yes, I'll buy your magic carp. See, paid and outreach. A Diglett? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm naming him Bozo. Because he's got the red nose like a clown. Bozo the clown. I paid $500 for freaking Bozo the clown. Even like, work anything at all. Liquid ooze. Draining causes injury. of the ability but I I don't know if that means if if Diglett uses a a draining move or if they use a draining move on Diglett I forget but we'll go ahead and uh you want a battle you want a tussle that's right normal um How does hypnosis hit me? I thought you couldn't. <laughs> this thing is it sinks so many times. Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm an idiot. That's a normal. I was thinking it was fairy. Normal fairy. But it's just normal. Even if it was normal fairy, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Like, all right, in time for the third encounter. The last encounter will be after Mount Noon. Oh no, we get a free uh, fossil, right? So whenever we get a fossil, that is a free encounter. So the next route, we'll get two Pokemon. Man, there's so many encounters. All right, let's see here. Before I go through Mount Noon, I do want to train up whatever Pokemon I use. Don't know if I want to use a Diglett. If I'm going to be uh, brutally honest. Already have Steal It with Skylark. I don't want to. I don't want to use Bozo the Clown. Dude, just give me the Pokemon. What's your problem? Thank. You. It literally could have gave me anything else, and it gave me this.
Well, it looks like we're using the Diglet. You know, I didn't want to use it. I didn't want to use that Smoochum, but I, I would have liked to have it on my team because if I encounter another Smoochum, guess what? I got to catch it. So I'm going to go ahead and train real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we did train uh, some of these Pokemon up a little bit. Um, I'm not too happy with Bozo and Cookie at the moment. Both of them are a little weak. Um, that's to be expected, obviously. Um, Bozo does have Magnitude, which is pretty pretty sick. The only problem is it's a bit of a gamba, because you never know if it's going to be Magnitude 10, which is super strong, or Magnitude 1, which is... Like someone's sneezing on you. It's not not gonna do that much. So we're gonna we're gonna save Bozo at least for now, at least in the like the back burner. But once he's able to become, oh, this is a little scary. Once he can uh, go into Doug Trio, then I think he'll be a little bit more useful. I just hope I didn't sheer cold. <laughs> I can't use sheer cold. 30 accuracy. I mean, that is kind of funny, though. Who, who can even use it? Everybody? <laughs> Let's give it to Skylark. He is my most defensive, so if something goes wrong, Skylark just goes out there and tries to sheer cold, sheer cold him, and then uh, hopefully they die. If not, then, well, it seems like we uh, must have done something wrong. Beavis. Beavis and Butthead. Dang, Princess is destroying people, though. I think I might put Bozo in the front. Because if he does get a little bit higher in level, maybe like level 18, while others are still 15 or whatever, I think that's fine. I just don't want to overlevel everyone because if everyone gets overleveled, then it just becomes way too easy. I do want to win, but I also want to make this fun and interesting for everybody. Charmander! This is an easy one. Magnitude 7. Okay, Bozo, I see you. Torchic, same thing. Magnitude 7 should kill. Hopefully. Maybe. Ah, yes. Look at you, Bozo. Better than two starting Pokemon. Some of people's favorites, too. Don't worry, Bozo. You're the favorite in my heart. Oh, but I catch your head that. I would like to battle. Geodude. Huh? Magnitude 7 it is. Bozo, getting a little 15. Shelder. That's a job for Rocky. 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 Level 16. See, our team is looking nice. Just die to the magnitude 9, please. Please. Thank God. Would have been the worst intro moment. Bozo dying to a freaking splat or dying to bubble. Here thinking, you know, he just has splash. I think that Magnitude 9 was a little bit of an overkill, though. Dude, Bozo is becoming like MVP over here. You gotta die, Magic Carp. Probably don't need Magnitude 9, but. By golly, Bozo is just one-shotting everything. Magic Carp here, Magic Carp there, Ralts, and now a Caterpie. Magnitude six. That should take out the Caterpie. And but that's fine, Bozo. You can't one-shot everybody. That's fine. <laughs> I got a little big for my britches there. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Doesn't mean you gotta battle me. Stupid little kid. Weightlifter Kim. Ghastly. 
Magnitude 7! Dude, Bozo is a beast. I... I doubted you, Bozo, but you're becoming a... A stud. Look at you, level 16. Alright. What do you want, Team Rocket? We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. And your name is Dancer Ann. Okay, I'm super scared, bruh. Rousey? Hopefully Bozo kills right here. Because if not... Oh, I could be hurting. Uh-oh. <laughs> you thought, Drowsy. No, Pidgey? Oh, I had no choice. I have to switch. Dang, this Pidgey's eating hits. Like, what the heck? Dang, that Pidgey. Like, what's the problem with that thing? Full picks. Magnitude 6. So on average, I'm getting a 6 or a 7 for Magnitudes. Which is nice. I, I can kind of rely on it rather than expecting a, uh, a low roll, like a 1 or 2. Which, it can happen, but... At the same time, I don't have to worry too much. Bozo level 17. He can learn Dig. I mean, Magnitude is so much better, though. I'll take Dig over Sand Attack just because if I need a reliably... I need a reliable amount of damage done, I can rely on Dig rather than uh, hoping that I get something better with Magnitude. Now, like I said, I'm not trying to over-level some... Running away from most encounters. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Dancer Cristiano. How am I supposed to take you guys seriously when you're dancers? Togepi. This is a little scary. Metronome Togepi. It's called Levitate? What the heck? Just use future sight. I can't get out because of whirlpool. How much damage is it gonna do? And it hypnosed it. What is this togepi? What is this thing? Dude, that is... I gotta kill this thing. I'm asleep. I forgot. Thank you! Thank you! Oh my god! Dude, that Togepi he was on roids! I gotta get I gotta get out of this. Come on, princess, help me out here. Good work out there, princess. You too, cookie. Collar chains, are you kidding me? Not seeing it. Dude, that was that was insane. Flame wheel, that's pretty sick actually. Who can I use that on? Mm. As dumb as it sounds, I might use it on Skylark. Flame wheel. No. All right, never mind. I thought it was increase your speed. I might use this on Rocky. 
Quite honestly, it's better than tackle, so. Freaking cookie was put through the ringer, like my goodness. I've <laughs> never seen anything like it. You know what's funny? Let's do sheer cold. Oh. Let's do it again. Holy oh, hit! Bye bye, Nincada! <laughs> wow, 30% chance. Oh, Skylark, you are so much fun now. Ah. Uh, can I do it again? Oh my god, he did it again! Two times in a row, 30% chance. Skylark, what a champ. Wow, that was sick. That was sick. Two two sheer colds in a row. Who'd have thought? Not me. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Then why battle me? Gentleman Rachel. Slowpoke. Okay. Well, I would like to greedy gamba, but I don't want to. Not with Bozo, as good as he's been doing. I'd rather not risk Bozo dying. Oh, Nightshade? Thank you. Get rid of the uh, curse. Because I don't want to hurt myself. I want to I wanna test it out. He doesn't. So I I could have uh, taken out Nightshade, of course. Of course, of course. As soon as I clicked it. As soon as I clicked it, you guys don't have to say anything. I promise I'm good at Pokemon. You've got to be kidding me. Enough with this. Enough of Sing. Why has everybody got Sing? My gosh. Getting done sparse. Dun -dun sparse. Okay. Um, I think, honestly, I think we're about halfway through Mount Moon at this point. Another dancer. You guys are not scary whatsoever. I just noticed that I, just against trainers, I am barely over leveled on them. That does worry me a little bit. Because I don't want to over level, but at the same time, I don't want to ruin my chances of uh, against Misty by going under leveled. So it's a little bit tricky going, doing an in between. I'm not looking up anything, so I'm kind of just going off what I'm seeing. So it's a little tricky, a little scary. So I do have a question of the day for you guys. Yeah, we're going to be doing that from now on. Probably should have done it at the beginning of the video, but hey, look at me. It's almost near the end of the video, and I'm going to say what the question of the day is. My question of the day is, what is your favorite Pokemon? It's a very basic and generic question, but for me, I have like so many favorite Pokemons. I'd have to do a top five, but if I had to pick just one, I'd have to go... Lucario. Lucario is so awesome. Love Lucario. Fantastic Pokemon. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge ridges. Okay. Dancer Jimmy. Going out with a Sir Skip. Again, I don't want to risk Bozo getting hurt at all. Yep, be able to Done a little something something with that bubble. Pidgey. Skylark. Skylark? Pidgey. Yep. Yeah, this is. He does have double kick, and I just fast forward past that. Hey, you stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! Dude, I didn't even want any of them. Actually, I did. I want both of them. Bugcatcher Jessica would like to battle Torchic. Okay, eat a magnitude, bud. 
Magnitude 9, dude, you're dead. Bop. Okay, another Torchic. Uh, magnitude 4. Ooh. Thank you. Is you you don't die. Oh my god. Getting pumped, dude. You gotta hit him with a big yeah, okay, there we go. Hit him with that big dude. I ain't talking about attitude. I'm talking about magnitude. Bozo is now level 18. I might have overleveled him just a little bit. Uh, not too. I am not too crazy about facing you. <laughs> Spinda. Spinda into a... Oh, I hit him with the sheer cold! Dude, this sheer cold is one of the greatest things I could have gotten this this game. I love it. Oh my god, that's three sheer colds out of five that I've hit. Three. That's insane. We'll each take a fossil. No getting greedy. I'll take this. Not that it turns into a... Whatever it is. I think a Kabuto. A PP Max. You know what we're going to use the PP Max on, right? If you guessed sheer cold, you get five bonus points. He goes from five to eight. I got eight chances to hit a sheer cold. That's insane. So I am out of Mount Moon, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to save the next few encounters for the next episode, in which we're just going to do the, the bridge and then hopefully get to Misty's gym. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.